Hey everybody, welcome. It's uh, Peppy here, Peppy's Plants. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about whitefly. That's right, whitefly. They are an absolute pain in the neck and other places too. They attack your plants. They're almost impossible to get rid of. And if you're going organic, it's even tougher in many cases. How do you get rid of these guys? I mean, they drive me nuts. I don't know about you, but guess what? I figured out a way to get rid of them and it's a biological control. And I think it's okay to use it. You may differ in your opinion. If I can not figure out how to do it organically and I don't want to use a strong pesticide, what other choice do I have? Well, there's a product on the market that comes from a fungus and it's called Bavaria bassiana. Bavaria bassiana. I'm probably butchering the, the, uh, the pronunciation, but nevertheless, I'm going to call it Bavaria bassiana. And that stuff is amazing. Very, very good stuff. Now, I got some about six months ago. I ordered it on Amazon. The stuff came. I used it. Problem solved within a month. The trick is you need to understand how it works and you need to understand how to apply it. Because if not, you're wasting your money. This is a quart bottle. It's almost $90, $90. You're gonna use one ounce of this product to one gallon of water. One ounce to one gallon of water. Double check the label to make sure I'm not saying something incorrectly. How do we use this product? Pretty simple. You mix it up with the water and then you spray it and make sure you get it underneath the leaves. Okay, underneath the leaves. This plant was so bad a couple of months ago that I used to do this and you'd have flakes of white stuff floating in the air and those are the white flies. I mean, it was completely, completely loaded with white fly. Now, I'll post a picture here so that you can see what the bottom of the leaves look like now that it has been cleaned up. I have a couple of the leaves that show you can still see a little bit of remains of the white fly and there's a little white fly activity, but it's minimal. And when I come back, I'm gonna explain exactly how this works and how it gets to the white fly and gets rid of them. So this is a product that is got a broad spectrum of the insects that it kills, but I did not see any beneficials here, okay? So, you know, we don't really have to be um, too worried in, in this particular product because it is very specific. The fungi attacks those insects and that's a good thing, okay? Now, what you want to do with this product is, it's kind of like a milky color, um, similar to what spinosad looks like. Uh, in the mix here, it separates after it sits for a little while, so it must be a, a two-part and it, it, it's, it's, it's emulsified, it's called an emulsifiable suspension. So it probably has a surfactant or something in there to help it attach to the leaves. Important that the product go underneath the leaves and around the soil. So this product um, that you're gonna use is gonna be sprayed in the evening, okay? Products like this, these, these, these fungus, uh, you know, biocides are very susceptible to daylight, ultraviolet light, they, they will get destroyed by the ultraviolet light. So, you know, when the afternoon comes and sun sets about an hour away, that's when I want to spray this product. I want to thoroughly spray the soil. I want to thoroughly get underneath. And it's a little tricky getting underneath, so you want to kind of get a sprayer that's uh, a pump-up sprayer with a hose attachment. And then you got to want to tilt it a little bit so you can get all underneath and try not to spray on your face. So <laughs> you might want to wear goggles as well. You don't want to get it in your eyes, okay? In about three or four weeks, you'll come out and you'll start noticing less and less and less white fly. And why is that happening? Well, it's happening because the way this fungus works is it actually begins to get inside of the insect. It's a horrible death for the insect. It basically uh, becomes um, embedded inside the cuticle or it cuts through the, the exterior of the, of the insect and it starts to reproduce inside. It's a parasite. It goes inside and it just kills the insect that way and then it reproduces itself so that it can continue after the host whatever other white flies might be in the area now when the white flies are pretty much all gone 
you know, there's not much for your fungi to do. So you do have to keep an eye on this and you need to come back and you need to spray this a couple of times a year, but observe what's going on. Now, what I like to do is I find that I have coconut palms on one of the sides of the property that sometimes get pretty badly infested. And I also have banana trees that get infested. Now, sometimes this thing alternates and the white fly is on the banana tree and it's on the coconut or it's only on the coconut, right? So we alternate the spraying and we control and we provide the uh, fungi something to, to kind of live off of. And it seems like eventually I have less and less and less issues with the white fly. So another way that you could obtain this product, and it's a little more risky because it's probably not registered for sale in the United States, but nevertheless, if you go to eBay or if you go to a lot of these websites, They'll sell you practically anything. So I was able to get this product shipped to the United States, and it's from India. And it's called WA, W-A-H, and it's Bouveria Bassiana. This costs $30, including shipping. Now, I don't know if this is equivalent to the quantity that I have here, but I figure I'd try this out once I run out of this product and experiment with this and let you know if this is any good so anyway this is sold in sold to the United States so I mean obviously it must be legal or else uh, I don't know how these people could ship it out there or how would they, they would allow it to come into the country but it's a 2.5 percent wettable powder and it's the exact same strain of Bavaria Bassiana that's inside this bottle here so I'm looking forward to giving that a shot trying it out and uh, this this white fly attacks many things besides this particular pepper it also attacks all the other types of peppers that you have. And a few years ago, I had a terrible outbreak and I just, I just decided never to grow peppers again. I was so aggravated from it. Um, seems like anything you, you start growing before you know it, boom, it's loaded with white fly. But this has been a blessing. It's terrific. Um, it works really, really well. And it's made a huge difference in the productivity and in the health of the plant. And these are the cachucha peppers right here. These are great, great, great peppers. Now, hey, I got a surprise for you guys. In a couple of, uh, probably about a month or two, I've got a great pepper that's coming out. I just planted all the seeds. And it's a pepper that comes from, um, comes from northern uh, Spain, actually. And the Brazilians have uh, said that it belongs to them. But, you know, I know better. No insulting Brazilians. I, if you're a Brazilian, you know, peace, okay? W what I'm trying to say is that this is called, I believe it's pronounced piquinho, something like that, piquinho pepper. They're also known as sweet drops, and they're also known as the little beak pepper. And those things are just beautiful little things, and they're not, they're not supposed to be spicy, just like this is not spicy. And um, now that I have my, my, my Bavaria Bassiana here, I'm not afraid to grow peppers again. So I am going to show you guys in a couple of months uh, those brand new little sweet drops or piquino or um, little beak peppers and I'll share that video with you. Now, so thanks again for stopping by. I, I hope you found the information useful. Uh, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And, and by the way, if you're gonna subscribe, and I hope you do, please hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that will give you a heads up when new videos come out. You'll get notified that new videos have come out from this channel and then you'll know, um, hey, it's time to watch Peppy's channel. Thank you very much. Go out there, do some gardening. God bless, peace, be good.